with that. Is that is that is that a pressure cooker with a what the heck? Is that a potato or a gopher? Uh oh. Oh, it's that. I suspect I can walk on them. Nope. Shanked. Perhaps you will be a challenge. Prepare yourself to feel the heat. Torch Jutsu! What's up guys and gals, Just as I here, and welcome back to Mega Man 11. In the last episode, we took on Acid Man, successfully defeated him after some... difficulty, and acquired his Acid Barrier. Now we are back, and all that is left is the final Robot Master. Torch Man. Before we do that, let me double check the shop. Because once again, I've made a liar of myself. I uh, took a way too long of a break between episodes. And I forget what my inventory is looking like. I'm gonna just buy the one ups. Are you sure? I have plenty of bolts. I don't think I'll ever have to worry about those again. Yo, Mega! Can I interest you in some parts? I'm still not used to Otto's voice. Like, there's nothing wrong with his voice inherently, it just doesn't seem like it would be Otto's okay, voice. Mega. No, we're not buying that. Alright. Let's not screw around. Uh, I've already wasted enough time not recording this, so let's just jump in the Torch Man. Been really excited to fight this guy, actually. Very cool, very cool. So I actually did some extra research beforehand. Uh, as it happens, he is not actually voiced by uh, Boomstick from Death Battle. No, nah, just a similar uh, voice. Oh, that's an enemy. I'm using a different controller today. Because I was expecting my, um, it was, mine was kind of busted from a uh, Xenoverse. Still used to classic looking uh, space, not used to how far you can jump. Ooh, ow. Okay. Those things have big explosions when they die. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, those things have different things than them, I see. Interesting. Yeah, this controller has a weird, uh... What is it, the X button? So I don't need to actually press down as hard and it doesn't really click back. Doesn't feel right in that kind of way, you know? Oh, what's that? Is that... Is that... Is that a pressure cooker with a... What the heck? Is that a potato or a gopher? Uh-oh. Oh, it's that! Didn't expect it to show up so abruptly. Long here. Yes, please give me some space to put between myself and the giant wall of death. Nope. The world. Oh, that heats that up. That's kind of cool. Alright, looks like we're out of the fire. Hopefully not jumping into the frying pan now. I haven't been using special weapons at all. I should actually try out Acid Barrier. It would actually probably work out pretty well given how many little things are here. So he is vertical. Oh, that's so much for that working out. That doesn't even work. What the heck, man? Oh, okay. So what if... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's gonna help out. Good thing I have this. We're going to spare the owl for my own sake from here on. Perfect. 
perfect. Location, location, location. I'm assuming that means I did that right. In behind him. Why is this bush shaking? Something's gonna pop out of it. Oh, yep. Ah, yes. Turkey. Alright, let's not screw around here. I don't know how far back the checkpoint is, so let's pop one of these. Um... Let me think we could we could roast the turkey on a spit. A rubber turkey. Uh, electric fry. Deep fry. That's just gonna completely dissolve it, I assume, and it's gonna just crush it. I don't know. Let's try acid barrier. Still it's a new weapon. Oh yeah, I put it out. Oh, and that thing's gonna light it again. Okay. Damn, that's the time it right so I didn't blow my gear. This guy's like a miniature storm eagle. The action times aren't quite there yet. Luckily using the gear probably helps me do everything a lot better. Also there's this little campfire going on in the background, that's kinda nice. And with that turkey successfully roasted. Let's keep it going. Yeah, there's the checkpoint. Optimistically, this is, I'm, I'm, I'm being optimistic here when I say I think that this is going to be a short episode. Shouldn't be anything too crazy. Except that that probably implies there's going to be more fire, which I'm not looking forward to. Alright, slow time. Yep, there it is. I had a double attack. This place really expects me to be using my gear. I missed a lot of bolts back there. Luckily, I still have that surplus, so I don't really have to try and risk my life for that. And just like that, we're all out of there. Ah, come on! These are some interesting enemies. I suspect I can walk on them. Nope. Oh, thank you, Beat. Seems like kind of a waste. Luckily, I have Rush Jet, which I probably could have used from over here. But hey, lesson learned. Okay, this place is also going to be completely uh, muted in uh, light. Or what they call dark, you know? When the, if I put that thing out, so I gotta, I'm gonna have to deal with him. Oh, look at that. You see, he's trying to get me to kill him by making me push. Nope, those are just reflected. I figured they were trying to make it so I'd accidentally kill the thing up there. I think it was Mega Man in base 2 that had a boss like that, where you intentionally ricocheted the bullet. Uh, Mega Man in base 2 was actually really, really interesting and had some good ideas. Shanked. Crap, I burned my gear. Dang it! Stupid thing, it's knocked back. I, could, I didn't notice it was there. No problem, we still got four lives, and uh, we're only back here. So yeah, uh, I don't. I think I was going to mention it earlier, but I got sidetracked. I uh, did some things to the mic, and now it sounds much better. 
What do you guys think? Yeah, I did some things with the... Uh, I got a new crane arm, so I no longer have to use it in a really awkward position. And I'm trying out some new things mechanically that should be helping with the... Uh, how, how close and how, uh, or, uh, how far I sound in the mic. So in other words, in, in addition to making it no longer sound like I'm a mile away, I'm now no longer literally a mile away. I could have probably worded that better, but I think you get the gist. It, it's just going to sound better. I also set up this new wall with soundproofing. Yes, an entire wall. No, it's not an actual one made out of concrete or something. I just drew up some cardboard and I put my soundproofing on that. Which should be cutting down on a lot of the reverb, unless I think my voice doesn't sound good without it. At which point I will... Uh, maybe I'll omit cleaning some of it out. Probably not, though. I think it sounds fine. Let me know if you think my voice sounds fine like this. It might be a little jarring to suddenly hear this after hearing me the other way for so long. I know that some, like, you know, big people sometimes use potentially bad mics to maintain their old sounding voice. Do they just sound completely different now that they have, like, higher quality ones? Back to the fryer. We're not going back with the weapon energy. That was to fuel my gear, which I think was more distance between me and that. Ow. We're good. We're good. See? Good, see? We're in the boss arena already. I fried my gear though, so I'm gonna wait a sec for that to fix itself. Alright, now, I, I think I already speculated this before. If it's not him being frozen to death, in a sort of, you know, Fireman, Iceman homage, then it's definitely gonna be acid, because acid is a liquid. And although, of course, there are exceptions, it's the closest thing to water in this lineup. So I'm gonna go in with Acid Barrier, and if that doesn't work, I'll try Chill, then. I mean, well, if, I, if that doesn't work, I'll just try all the other weapons. Perhaps you will be a challenge. Prepare yourself to feel the heat towards Jutsu! Can you really blame me for thinking that was a stick? Okay, I get to make a, a single hit on him. Okay, yeah, he's just straight up a Street Fighter character, so uh, I should be worried. Kind of disappointed they didn't just go all the way and have him scream Hadouken, sure you can, like, he'd, like, uh, what's his face from, uh, X4. You made it, now prove yourself! Fall to the Fist of Flame! Does the Fist of Flame have any connection to one of the North Star? Or am I getting that confused with something else? Okay, yeah, it is an Iceman and Fireman situation. Which is weird, because I thought he was that was already someone else's weakness. Oh, he's gonna stomp me, that's gonna hurt. Wait, did that not actually go through? Okay, no, okay, that was weird. I wasn't sure if I was getting hit in that corner, but I definitely got hit with that. The piercing blow. Unfortunately for you, my technique was superior. <laughs> Boom. And just like that, we have bested all of the robot masters.
And our new weapon is... Blazing Torch. That is really, really cool looking. Okay, so it's not a double input, it just goes up and then goes down. It's like him doing the dive kick. And then powered up. And then powered up is like a... Like a special. Like, this is some Dragon Ball Z stuff right here, I like it. That just looks really cool. I didn't even know that this weapon was like this. I think I've only ever seen him like hit a ceiling before, but if at all. In fact, I might have only ever just seen him with the crown in screenshots. I've never actually seen the snack. Yeah, that's really cool to look at. Alright, enough with the tutorial though. We've seen enough of that. Let's see what what Wily has in store for us now. That we bested all the stolen robot masters yet again. Otto, do you have any idea where Wily's gone to? Ugh. He's totally vanished, Mega Buddy. Maybe he decided to turn tail and run. Huh? What is it, Otto? Uh, there's someone hijacking our signal. C could it be? Indeed, it could. Martinez neither runs nor hides. Wily! Light! Then you, Mega Man! How dare you use my double gear system! Now you've crossed the line, I'll turn you into scrap myself! I'm at point E1685578! Come to my gear fortress! I'll be waiting for you! Gear fortress? That's all we needed! I'm heading out, Dr. Light! Hmm. It's time to finish this. Good luck, Mega Man. It's up to you to stop, Dr. Wily. Yes, sir. You can do it, Mega Man! Mega, be careful out there. Okay. And that's what's coming next, the Gear Fortress. But that's all for this episode. Thank you guys and gals for watching. I do hope you all enjoyed my quick little run through Torchman's level. And I hope you're excited to see what Wily has in store with his brand new Gear Fortress. That thing definitely looks impressive and I'm excited to see what this new Wily Castle has in store. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And slap the bell right next to the subscription button so you'll be the first to know when the next episode of Mega Man 11 comes out, or anything else I make, you can check me out on Twitter, Instagram, and Mixer for exclusive live events. And yeah, I am Just a Zag, and I am out. I'll see you guys and gals next time on Mega Man 11. <laughs>